Today's topic is about how to handle a family member on drugs. Like, it's so difficult to see somebody that you love essentially spiraling down. So, I want to touch on that topic because I know it's very difficult. I have a lot of family members on drugs and I've seen the demise and the destruction that it caused in their life and in our, in our family. So I want to express how I got through it and hopefully it can shed some light on you. My name is Cyrus Asar and my mission is to embody the emotion of overcoming. I believe we all fight battles we hide from the world. My objective is to help you win those battles through perspective. Stay tuned. How to handle somebody on drugs. Like, there's so many variables that go into how to handle somebody on drugs because at first it's what drug and why do you want them to stop it and how severe is it. It's all these different types of things. Like crack was in my family. So I've seen it do a lot of destruction. I've seen it divide us up, all my brothers. I got seven brothers all divided. I've seen us lose a lot. I've seen us even suffer later on in our life as far as so much separation, so much non-family activity to a point that I haven't communicated with my brothers or my mother or all these different types of things that crack did, all the division that it caused and what people are willing to do to get it. The things people are willing to do to get it, even if it means sacrificing their family, even if it means whatever. Every drug is different. Everybody got to deal with it in different ways, but this is how I particularly dealt with crack. The way I went about it with my mother is a couple things. My mother was on crack. The way I went, went about it a couple ways. Number one, I got a chance to talk to her about how she got on it in the first place. What, what prompted her to get on it? Now, everybody isn't as open. My mom is a brilliant woman, and she's willing to remain open about her pitfalls. But in this case, I got a chance to talk to her. Like, what got you on it in the first place? And from what she said, it was like free basin in the 80s and all this type of stuff. And I'm like, what made you continue? And it's searching for that high. And it's an addiction. It's a strong thing. You know, these people, we need help. So if you have to look at it for somebody be addicted to drugs or a family member and how to deal with them is never stop trying to help. Keep trying in different angles. It doesn't have to be the same thing. Don't keep saying, put the drugs down, put the drugs down, put the drugs down, just say no. It's not that simple. Trust me, these people, some, these people want to stop as well when they see the destruction that it caused. But we all go through ups and downs. And during the down times, they say, forget it. I don't care. I'm getting back on the drug. I'm getting back on it. So the only thing we can do is try to continue Try to continuously help. Only thing we can do is try to continuously help. And it gets heavy, man. Because I know for me, with my mom being on drugs, it was heavy. You know, I know it was times I hit that pillow and didn't know what to think and all this other type of stuff. And ironically, my dad was selling crack too. So my dad selling it, my mom using it, and I, I seen what it did. And the way I dealt with it most or the way I tried to help most was different angles. It's not just, as I said earlier, it's not just stop, put it down, because it's not that simple. What you got to do is continuously try. Even if the marathon is the rest of their life, even if you never get them to stop, you must never stop trying. The same way that they might be addicted to the something is the same way you should be addicted to helping them. No matter how much they push you away, no matter what, if this is somebody you love, then make your love be unconditional. Don't give up. Because they, people will scream out for help in ways that they don't verbalize. They'll just say things, and if you really pay attention, that's their way of saying, help me. So pay attention to the signs of when somebody is saying, help me get off these drugs. Because we might not have the money to go to a facility. And that won't even matter either. I remember my brother telling me his dad did eight years in prison. And he said his dad was clean for the eight years in prison. 
The second he got out of prison, the first thing he asked for was some crack. And that was eight years clean. At least that's what he said. So it takes a lot mentally. It takes the continuous effort to try and help somebody. And it does get exhausting. But do you love them? Love is unconditional. You maintain it. You keep get, keep going. Try different angles. It might be just, frankly, getting them something healthy to eat. It may be giving them candy. It may be whatever. Just showing that you care. And you consistently care. Like, my mom is extremely brilliant. I get ideas from her all the time and all that. But it doesn't stop for me is what I'm saying. It doesn't stop. And that's what I'm saying. That's how you have to deal with it. When you're dealing with somebody that's on drugs, you have to accept it too. But you cannot stop. And that's what oftentimes happens to people that's out here needing help. Like they resisted, they resisted, they resisted. Then the people quit. Then they like, I really don't care. But if it is your mom or if it is your loved one or if your brother or your sister, if you're not helping, then who is? I mean, at the core, if it's not you, then who is it? It's not going to be nobody. And you want them left out there stranded? At least with your love, it's unconditional. I've even heard, let me tell you how backwards it is. I've even heard people say their, their way of trying to help their mother or cousin or whatever that's on crack is, I'm going to sell it to them so at least I know it ain't tainted. Like, no. 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 That's not a way to help your family saying, you know what, well, at least my crack ain't tainted. I don't think nobody should sell crack, period. I see them what it do. And I don't knock, as I said, I don't knock what people do. I know everybody got to find a way to live, but I do not think distributing death is the best way to go about any lifestyle. Period. I seen what it did with my own two eyes. So the only way we can move forward is unconditional love. And that sound all cliche. Yeah, just love your way through. No, I ain't trying to say it in a cliche way. I'm just saying it can't stop. These people was going through things and they need help. And we got to be a community behind the people that need help. Our mom, our dad, our brother, our sister, our best friend or whatnot. We cannot quit on them. They need our help. And although they may resist, although they may fight us, although they may cuss us out, we can figure out different tactics and use that as a tool. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. And the more you keep trying, you're going to figure something out that at least get them to reduce it. And that's information you can acquire to use into the world. You'll learn how to deal with people that's on drugs. Or you'll learn all these different things just trying to help. So that's what I'm saying. We cannot stop trying to help. That's how you deal with somebody that's on drugs. And to deal with it mentally when you're crushed is you have to accept the fact that they did make these decisions. For me, I had to accept the fact that my mother made the decision. She lost some children. And continued. So this was a decision she chose to make. And I have to accept that. It hurts. But I have to accept that. And from that acceptance then what? Is how do I help it? In the way I see I can help. Whether that is. Uh, for some people putting them in uh, uh, addiction recovery. Whether it is constant communication, whether it is providing them healthy foods or whatnot, whether it is communication and just talking to them normally, whether it is pulling them in on some ideas that you got and just listening to them and they vent. Everybody, like I said, there's no concrete way, but effort is concrete. Keep trying. That's what I'm saying. Because if it's not you, then it, then who is it? It can be whatever. It can be painkillers. If not you, then who? Think about the way your mind operates. You may be that person in the family that you can see everything logically. Like, wait a minute, this ain't going to work. This is going to work. They need to stop this. If you're that person that got that gift, then give that gift out. As I said, it's not easy. Nothing in this world is easy. So you continue to constantly try and help somebody that's dealing with these issues. Because trust me, they want help. 
And that's how you deal with it. You don't quit no matter what we going through. Be unconditional and just sit there and listen. Sit there and try your best to figure out different routes and course of actions to take to kind of like bring it down from the, so they're not doing it as much. Any step in a positive direction is a good step. If they is smoking and drinking or whatever Monday through Friday and you cut it down to Monday through Thursday, then that is progression. Take those small victories. Anything that's progressive, we have to constantly look at. And oftentimes we forget. We can look at somebody and say, man, they ain't not willing to change, but we forget the things that they did adjust. It doesn't happen overnight. So that's what we have to do. Remain unconditional with our love towards the people that is calling out for help with these addictions. That's how you deal with it. Remain consistent with unconditional love and keep trying angles. No matter how frustrated you get, no matter how much you want to quit, don't quit on them. Do not, because you all they got. So if you know anybody that's suffering with, dealing with drug abuse, or you know somebody that is breaking down from helping people deal with drug abuse and whatnot, send this video to them. Maybe they can relate to it. I look forward to the comments. Please like it if you agree with it or identify with it. Share it. And I look forward to it. Thank you.